In a small town by the sea, where the sun shines so bright, lived a man named Jim, with his goats by his side. Oh yeah, a thief snuck in one night, took the goats away. Once upon a time in Jamaica, there lived a hard-working farmer named Jim. Every morning for decades, he ventured out in his water boots with his machete to tend for his goats, carrying a cool drink of water. He always had a hat that was tattered, and as the years went by, developers continued to encroach on the land that he would take his goats to graze, forcing Jim to keep his goats closer to home. Jim also noticed that the rivers and streams that he enjoyed as a boy had vanished, based on one developer harvesting all the water and selling it to major hotels on the north coast. The little left of the land he had to cherish. Despite these challenges, Jim remained dedicated to his goats, especially his prized ram goats, which would fetch thousands of dollars in Jamaica. However, in his community, some individuals shunned hard work and instead eyed Jim's goats with greed. Goat thieves were commonplace in Jamaica, especially around Christmas. Jim was determined to protect his herd, but what would be the cost? To safeguard his goat, Jim devised a unique strategy. He sprayed all the ropes he used to tie the goats with black paint, marking them as his own. This way, if any of the goats got stolen, he could easily identify them by their rope. That means, hopefully, the thief would not have taken off the rope. One fateful night, Jim was awakened by the distressed cries of his goats. He started to look through his window and he saw the shadows of two men near his goat pen. Knowing the dangers of confronting goat thieves, he chose not to intervene, but he hoped for the best. As morning came, Jim got up and hurriedly made his way over to the goat pen. On his discovery, he realized that two ram goats were missing. These were the biggest ram goats valued at thousands of dollars. Heartbroken, he started to cry. This is wickedness. And he started to do what a Jamaican man would do when they realized they're very upset in that city. Everyone noticed the head was down. They wondered if he would overcome the situation. A few days earlier, before Jim's goat were stolen, Miss Jean passed away. She was a beloved person in the community. It was customary for everyone to gather around and pay their respect to individuals when they died in the community. They celebrated the life with music, food and dancing. And of course, those in foreign were making their way down. Jim was still in mourning at the loss of his coat. And he decided he would still honor Miss Jean. So the night... When they had a special arrangement, they called it a week. A week in Jamaica, often referred to as a set-up or night-night, is a traditional gathering that takes place before the funeral, usually lasting for one night, but it can be extended to nine nights, symbolizing the mourning process. The week is a significant cultural event that combines elements of both celebration and mourning, reflecting Jamaica's ethos of honoring the life of the deceased rather than only mourning the death. During a week, friends, family members come together to share memories, music, dancing, and often the pastor will stop to pray. It's a community-centric event where people offer support to the bereaved family and celebrate the deceased life, of course through stories. Food and drinks are typically served and often rum punch. A lot of people go there for the rum punch. And there's often playing of dominoes and, of course, music. Sometimes a live band is brought in. The week serves as an important social and spiritual occasion, providing a space for communal grieving and, of course, remembrance. And that is why, of course, Jim was here. During the week, people were moving up and down in cars, and, of course, Jim would be up there too. It was raining heavily that night. And, of course, the road was very muddy. It's not the main road. And in the commotion, one car got stuck and needed to be pulled out. That's when Jim noticed everyone moving up and down. 
Then all of a sudden a shout was given. Anyone has a rope? And of course a rope arrived. And as the person was using the rope, Jim noticed something familiar. The rope that was being used to tug the car seemed to be his rope that he used to tie his coats. He confronted Johnny, one of his friends, who had helped with the car, asking where he got the rope. Johnny was caught off guard and claimed the rope was his. But Jim knew better. It was the same rope he used to tie his coats. So therefore, he was saying to Johnny that he was a thief. And at this time, everyone noticed what was taking place. Both men coloured up each other, ready to fight, fuming and cussing like crazy, because one was accusing the other of thieving the goat, and the other was saying, no, he didn't. And that is when the truth seemed to begin to reveal itself. The truth came out when Johnny's relative who were present revealed that they had asked Johnny to purchase a goat from Jim for the week. They had no idea that he would have resorted to theft. Feeling betrayed, Jim was offered compensation, but the damage was already done. The trust was broken. No money could mend the friendship. However, Jim, as a Jamaican, swallowed his pride and accepted the money. As the week continued, people went back enjoying themselves and celebrating. But Jim couldn't shake the feeling of betrayal. He had lost more than his goats. He had lost a friend. The story's moral is that honesty and trust are the bedrock of any community. And when these values are compromised, the consequences have far-reaching effect, affecting relationships and trust within the community too. It is essential to uphold integrity for personal and communal well-being, even in the face of temptation. Follow me to hear more stories that make connections to our culture. That's all for now. In a small town by the sea, where the sun shines so bright, lived a man named Jim, with his goats by his side. Oh yeah, a thief snuck in one night, took the goats away, but little did he know, he soon paid. Oh yeah, the community came together, united in their fight, said, we won't let injustice take away our light. Oh no, they scoured the island in search of that thief. Singing Calypso songs, bringing justice and relief. Oh yeah, stop stealing ghosts. It's time to make a change. Make a change. Go and work for a living. Don't live a life of shame. Oh yeah, in this community, we stand strong. You bring us down, oh yeah.